I don't know fuck that with you. You, you. you little stupid ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. You little, you little dumb ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. I got a million trillion things I'd rather fucking do than to be fucking with you. Little stupid ass, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck about fuck. you or anything that you do. Don't, don't give a fuck, fuck about fuck. you or anything that you do. I heard you got a new man. I see you taking the pic. Wow. Then you post it up, thinking that it's making me sick. I see you calling, I be making it quick. I'ma answer that shit like I don't fuck with you. Bitch, I got no feelings to go. I swear I had it up to here. I got no feelings to go. I mean, for real. Fuck how you feel. Fuck it too. This is your week five preview presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. The Baltimore Ravens, after losing their last two games, they have to go on the road to take on the Oakland Raiders, who will be without their quarterback, Derek Carr. So what are your thoughts about E.J. Manuel and the chance of the Raiders being able to get a win versus the Ravens? You know, I was surprised he came in and played as well as he did last week. He, he was good. Well, I think he was eight for eight, his first eight passes. Then he tried to fit one into the in the cover two hole and threw a pick. And that, you know, well, he wouldn't have had guys, to make that decision if Jared Cook would have caught the nice ball. I know, ball but a few guys played. can fit that ball into there and make it really, you know, Aaron Rodgers can do it. But you got to come EJ, back to the win at the end of the game. What do you want him to do, check it down? No. I, but still, you got to throw the ball in there or, or pick somewhere else to go. But he did play well. Can he do it going forward? That's the that's the question. He the Ravens aren't bad on defense. Their problem is on the other side of the ball, Brady. That thing is atrocious. Well, a good way to get back on track is when you play against a defense that's struggling right now. The Oakland Raiders are struggling. So unless Khalil Mack has a career day, which could happen. Could have, maybe he goes after the, he gets the six sacks in a game or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know? mean, it could happen with the way this offensive line has played for Baltimore, but I don't know. I don't see this so much as a get back on track game. I think the Raiders can actually hold their own at home. Yeah, I think the Raiders win this game. All right. How concerned are you with the Raiders, even with a healthy Derek Carr? Well, I'd be very concerned if he didn't play because E.J. Manuel is no Derek Carr. But I think they've had some issues offensively. Remember, they went 12-4 and last year, and head coach Jack Del Rio fired Bill Musgrave. They promoted Todd Dowling to call the plays. And right now, the problem is third down. They're just 2 of 23 on third down in the last two games. And I, I – look – Denver's a good defense, but the Raiders have not run the ball very well either. They went out and got Marshawn Lynch. He's rushed for 151 yards in four games. He's averaging just a little under three and a half yards a carry. So they've got some issues right now. Crabtree didn't play yesterday, and Amari Cooper is not creating separation in his routes. He is struggling right now on offense. Superb points on Amari Cooper, Rich. And Trent, Derek Carr needs to be completely healthy if the Raiders are going to live up to my expectations and make the playoffs and make a significant run in the playoffs. I agree with that. And, and Derek Carr's injury is a significant one for the Raiders. And when you talk about what they did last year, once he got injured, that yes, they made it into the playoffs, but that's because of the amount of wins they had when he was healthy. They didn't go anywhere in the playoffs with Connor Cook against Houston, not able to get into the, the end zone and put up enough points to, to get that victory. Rich mentioned the fact that they changed offensive coordinators. Musgrave is gone. Todd Downing is in. And everybody likes his excitement and what he brings to the table. But it just isn't enough. And E.J. Manuel isn't the answer, the long-term answer. The, the good thing for the Raiders is that they've got three consecutive home games. They've got the Ravens coming up this weekend. Then they've got the Chargers and the Chiefs. So they get, they, they're not going to have to travel. So if you're talking about Derek Carr, having to deal with flights and the pressure of being on a plane and treatment and rehab, those kinds of things. It's good that they're going to be at home, yeah. but they need a healthy Derek Carr. Welcome into NFL Power Rankings. I'm Colleen Wolf alongside Maurice Jones-Drew. He's letting that beard fly. That's right. To mm -hmm. the Super Bowl, baby. And Elliot Harrison. Weird week. I wonder how yeah. that has, is reflecting the rankings here. Down for him right now. I can't wait to see how the Rams do against Seattle this week. Here's a look at 11 through 20. And, uh, Elliot, a lot of teams on here sort of falling. Yeah, no kidding. The Titans, a huge faller this week. The biggest, One of the biggest, along with the Raiders. And then you see Seattle. I gave them a small bump. They beat the Colts at home. But, we'll get number know. 12. They fall 12 spots. They lose their quarterback for at least two weeks. Okay, but, I, I mean, MJD, I don't think you can disagree with this. You're talking about them right now with EJ Manuel. I think they can lose to anybody. And we saw where they were last year when Carr got hurt. I, I'm sick. I'm in a group chat with all my homeboys and yeah. there's a couple Niners fans and then they keep saying like you guys are a team that when your quarterback goes down everything falls apart I think that's every team but especially this team we saw that last Not year when Vikings. Carr went down 
Well, not the Vikings. You're DJ right. Manuel's no Case Keenum. He's not. But no, listen, boy. Derek Carr, I think, is the heart and soul of this team. He has to 